Hey there, long time no see, <laughs> what's up? You know, I'm working on some really crazy card magic right now. What do you think? Do you want to see a crazy card trick? <laughs> well then, let there be magic. So this is the story about a guy who gets into quite some trouble because he manages to ask two girls out on a date on the same Friday night. Two girls separately, of course. Now Friday night comes and our guy realizes that wasn't such a great idea at all. But instead of doing something reasonable about it, Jack of Spades, who is not very known for being a reasonable guy, isn't he? Well, instead of doing something reasonable about it, he is aiming for a more manly solution. <laughs> That's right. He decides to simply ignore the trouble ahead. And it's always trouble ahead, right? Dating two girls at the same time. So what does he do with the Jack of Spades? Funny guy. He decides to hit his favorite bar and there he starts drinking all by himself. Because that's what men sometimes do, you know? Grab a beer and hope for the best. Meanwhile, two beautiful girls are waiting, you know, very excited uh, for a romantic one-on-one -on, -one on that Friday night, which is not gonna happen now. And as soon as the girls realize nobody's gonna come to pick them up, well, they are doing the most girly thing you can, can think of. They are going to call their best friend to talk about it. Guess what? They are calling each other, only to realize they are sharing the same problem, but not only that, they are sharing the same problem because of the same guy. And one thing's getting clear on that Friday night, that douchebag ain't gonna get away with that stunt. No way. The girls decide to go on a manhunt now. That's right, a manhunt. And they're up to it, raptor style. That's right, raptor style, meaning they gonna hunt down the douchebag in a pack systematically. This is how it looks like. The girl from the dynasty of diamonds comes in from the western part of town. And the girl from the dynasty of hearts comes in from the eastern part of town. And as you can see, some places in the eastern part of town are off limits for the guy. He went there before, he drank a lot, but paid little to none and furthermore caused quite some disturbances. Same story for the western part of town, okay? Quite some places are a no-can-do for the guy anymore. He really got a bad reputation. However, all the other places in town where you can fix yourself a drink on a Friday night are possible locations for the subject to be found. So the girls now, girls now start hitting the location after location, thereby turning the whole city up side down. You see what's happening here? The girls are eliminating possibilities one by one, thus turning in, closing in on the subject from two sides. Can you see that? Isn't that crazy? And the girls mean business. I mean, look at all them places the girls already, where the girls already have been looking for the guy. Isn't that insane? Look at this. This is all the western part here. There goes all the eastern part with just some places left midtown for the subject to be found. And the girls are on it. They are hot. They are closing in. They already smell their prey. And about the time the weekend shifts from a Friday night to a Saturday morning, the girls nailed it down to only one possible location. Take a look at this. Isn't that insane? There goes the rest of the western part of town. There goes the rest of the eastern part of town. And when the girls then entered the bar, there he was, the jack of spades, about the time ordering tequila for everybody. Did you ever sit at a bar with the door in your back and all of a sudden the bartender starts slowly taking cover. Well, when the Jack of Spades turned around to see those two girls coming straight at him, the whole thing went down a little something like that. No! And there you have it. 
my take on a trick called Search and Destroy to be found in a book called The Paper Engine by Aaron Fisher. A book that says about itself, the royal road to expert level card magic. Which in my opinion is just true. Now what about the trick? Well, you just saw it. This trick is crazy. Super visual. I mean, two cards melting through the whole deck from both sides just to sandwich the selection in the center, which is impossible. This trick is a serious mindfuck. The more you think about it, the less it will make sense. Also, this trick holds a lot of audience participation in a live performance situation, which is always great. And then it fits into all kinds of skill levels. So you can do this very well as a bloody beginner, so to say. Guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you enjoyed watching this, give it a like and share with friends. My name is Art Marius. Subscribe to my channel and be sure more magical stuff is going to be uploaded very soon. And hey, why not have a chat in the comment section just right now. No! Never invite two girls to one date.